Good morning, Florida. I'm speaking very quietly this morning because I've got somebody with me. Who is it? It's Colin and he's fast asleep. Should we see if we can wake him up for the day? We know what we need to do, don't we? How do we wake Colin up? We need to count. Okay. Shall we count backwards and see if that works? Let's have a go. We'll start counting backwards from 10. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh dear, did he wake up? Backwards isn't working then. Shall we start counting forwards? We'll start from number four today. Are you ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, he woke up! Borrowed down, Colin. Say hello to the boys and girls. You're excited to be here today. Jack and the Beanstalks, one of your favourite stories. Oh yes, he is. Oh, Colin said though, he loves the Jack and the Beanstalk story, but he gets a little bit scared of that big giant. Shall we have a look at the picture of the giant, Colin? Don't be scared, it's only a picture. This is the giant in this book. There he is, look. Oh dear, he's frowning, isn't he? Can you see him, Colin? Oh, it's okay, don't be scared. Have another look, it's just a picture. Yes, he's got, he can tell he's frowning by the way his eyebrows are. They're pointing downwards in the middle, aren't they? And his mouth's open and he looks like he's shouting. Oh gosh, I would be a bit scared of that giant too. Now giants are really, really big, aren't they? Which is why Jack, hiding behind the books here, looks so tiny, doesn't he? Yeah, well, we're going to be thinking a bit about giants today, Colin. I tell you what, come and sit down here, stay awake, and we'll find out which day it is, and we'll find out our Torib as well. Okay, right. Well, we've had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Thursday today, the th one day out. And here it is, look Colin, there you go, Thursday, we'll pop that up here, we're still in the month of June, and we've had one, two, three, it's day number four today, the fourth of June, day number four, down, across, and draw the oar, four, 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 the fourth of June today. Right, so my toe is heavy. Gosh, I wonder if we'll have buru glau like we had yesterday. Let's see. So my toe is heavy. Buru glau. Gum along. Hey log, ah gum along. Stormis. Hey log. Buru Ada, Wintog, hmm, so my toe is heavy. I think so too, I think you're right. Okay, so Colin, we found out which day of the week it is, we found out it's the 4th of June and we found out our toe is, and now we're going to start thinking about giants. Because for your activity today, I would like you to Think about a giant that you could make up. So our giant in this story was a mean giant, wasn't he? He wasn't very kind at all. But I'm going to design my own giant and my giant is going to be a kind giant. And in fact, my giant is going to be a lady giant. So you can have a go at drawing one on a piece of paper. But mine is going to be done on this board here, so you can see. So my giant is going to be a kind lady giant. 
and she's going to live in a big castle. So she's going to be like a princess giant. So I'm going to start off by doing my giant's face. So there she is. I'll draw her neck and because she's kind, she's going to have a smiling face. She's going to be happy. Give her some eyelashes. Let me see, shall I bring it a little bit closer? There we go. Some eyelashes there. There's her nose. She's going to have a very happy smile. I'm going to do her some curly hair. And I'm going to draw her wearing a beautiful princess dress. And I'm going to need to think of a name for my giant. So I think I'm going to call her Kind Claire. So I can write Kind Claire. That's my giant's name. So have a go at writing your giant's name. If you're in reception, see if you can think of some words that you can use to describe your giant. So mine has got beautiful hair and she's got a smiling mouth. She might have a delicate dress or she might have sparkly shoes. And see if you can have a go with your special writing at writing some of those things down about your giant. And then if you come back for our next lesson this afternoon, we're going to have a go at making our picture of our giant speak. And I'm going to show you how we can do that. So hopefully I'll see you again later to make our giants talk. Off you go. See if you can do a drawing of your very own giant and I will finish mine off. See you later. Bye.